Today on MT Jump Hat, you may notice a different planeswalker from yesterday. So Garuk did not get us the great pulls we were after. So he has been banished to the planeswalker exile zone. And now we'll have Nissa here to do the pack blessing duties today. So hopefully that will get us some better quality pulls than what Garuk managed. See how we do and how is the new year treating everybody so far? We're only a couple of days in, but hopefully better than 2018 for everybody. And we're starting off. These are pretty cool. Invisibility. So we got some goblins there. This guy's hiding from the goblins. I think I highlighted that card before. Ah, oh, look at this. Goblin Rough Rider. Fantastic. That is so cool. I'm not sure if I've seen this one. So this is a 3-2 for 3 mana. Astride the bucking creature, Gribble hurtled down the mountainside while his Grotag brethren cheered. It was at that moment that the legend of the Skrill Tamer was born. So I'm assuming he's writing a Skrill there. Is anybody familiar with those beasts? Leave a note in the comments. Next we have an Accursed Spirit. Vine Weft. Verdant Haven, Areska Swift Claw, Cat Warrior, Fugitive Wizard, <laughs> Mind Rot, be careful in 2019. Don't watch too many videos on this channel because it will rot your mind. I know some of you out there are powerless to resist, but just everything in moderation, people. I know it's a challenge with daily videos, but Try to parcel them out. Borderland Marauder. Next one here, Dark Steel Citadel. Constricting Sliver. That is cool. So we keep coming across these different slivers in this set. Must be one of the minor themes here, or maybe it's a major theme. So that was, uh, let's see. So we've got two uncommons there, rogues, gloves, and the rare is a sliver hive. Nice. So this is a land, you can tap it for colorless mana, or tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a sliver spell. Okay. And for five and tap, put a 1-1 one, one color sliver creature token onto the battlefield. Activate this ability only if you control a sliver. Alright, so that one is another good one with the sliver theme. And we get a nice foil, Nimbus of the Isles. So this is a creature elemental 3-3 three, three for 5 mana with flying. Creature can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. And a swamp. And a beast token. Alright, moving on here. We're getting all the slivers today. Oh, I'll call this the sliver and goblin episode. How about that? Next we have triplicate spirits. Invisibility again. Goblin rough rider again. Okay. Definitely the goblins getting their two cents in. Divine favor. Elvish mystic. Zoth shade. Living totem. That's pretty cool. Plant elemental. Shadow Cloak Vampire, Forge Devil, Hunter's Ambush, and for the Uncommons we have Feast on the Fallen. What the heck is happening here? Some horrifying zombie deal. Staff of the Death Magus. Okay, so we've seen a whole heap of these Magus cards. I think there's probably five or six of them. So we'll probably come across all of them at this point, I would say. Next is Quickling, and the rare is Jalira Master Polymorphist. I believe this one was reprinted recently. 2-2 two, two for 4 mana, legendary creature, human wizard, pay 2 and an island, tap, sack another creature, and reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-legendary creature card. Put that card onto the battlefield and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. All right. And an island, and a Liliana. There we go. Who's a fan of Liliana? I know we had uh, a Jani kept popping up last episode on the card there. Probably 
whispering from the Planes Rocker Exile Zone, please let me back on the channel, please. Leave a note in the comments if you think Johnny should come back. Next pack here we have Miner's Bane, Kinsbale Skirmisher, Frost Lynx, Festigloom, Welcome Turn, Eternal Thirst, Generator Servant, Plummet, Ornithopter, Artifact Creature, so they weren't just in Kaladesh. Uncommons we have Sunblade Elf, Act on Impulse, that is cool, what's happening here? We've got some attacking a, some big elemental magma lava creature, something like that, it's pretty cool. Dissipate, and rare is Aether Spouts, so this is an instant for five. For each attacking creature, its owner puts it on the top or bottom of his or her library. So every creature, holy moly, that'd lock up everything. Or just the attacking creatures, yeah. So if your opponent does that, that can really put a spanner in the works. And a foil meteorite. So this is an artifact for five. When meteorite enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to target creature or player as it should, and you can tap it, add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. And I see it has claimed a victim there already. Like, what happened to that dude? Where did that big rock come from? Nobody knows. And a forest and a spirit token. Alright, so my picks today. I'm going to have to go with the sliver hive, I think. So that's pretty cool, some nice artwork, ties in nicely with the sliver theme. And then in the uncommons I could go the meteorite or what else we got here? I oh that one's tempting. I think I want to take a closer look at this one. So act on impulse. So this is a sorcery for three. Exile the top three cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may play cards exiled this way. Okay, so if you cast the spell this way, you may... Or you still pay its costs. You can play a land this way only if you have an available land play remaining. You don't want to know what happens after I put on the goggles. So is that supposed to be Chandra? I think that's a fair bet. Okay, final. Here we have commons. Uh, let's see. Looking for something with interesting mechanics. Oh, that could be possible. Goblin Rough Rider, there's nothing too exciting going on there. Uh, mind Rot, just be careful people, I have warned you. I like to warn people now and then. How about we take a look at this guy. Alright, so we have a Living Totem, Creature Plant Elemental, 2-3 for 4 mana, with Convoke. So that made a comeback recently. Your creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for 1 or 1 mana of that creature's colour. So that can be pretty crazy, especially if you have a whole heap of token creatures you can use to pay for one of these other Convoke creatures. And when Living Totem enters the battlefield, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on another creature. Target creature. Okay. So pump something else up at the same time. Alright, so leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks. And MTG Unpacked is now on Patreon, so if you would like to get in on all the pack cracking action, I'll leave a link to that in the description for this video. And coming up this weekend, we're going to do the Patron Snap Pack construction, so that's always a fun time. I'll probably be splitting it into two videos this time, just because we had a bunch more Patrons at those tiers. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.